Yo, what's up? Now, I know I haven't uploaded in like nine days because I am positive with a hot sauce 16. So yeah, I've been sick recently, so my fault for not uploading. I only felt bad for like two days. I still got it. I'm still positive with the hot sauce 16 inside of me. But I only felt bad for like two days in a row. And after that, I feel good. Like I get, I've been working out. I just been stuck in my room. So that's why we're not in the original setup. But yeah, watching Jeffrey Dahmer made me sweat so much that it made my fever go down. So that's good. Shout out to shout out to that show. But yeah, we're gonna talk about Jeffrey Dahmer. And I'm pretty sure everybody already heard about it. It's based on a true story. It's a show on Netflix that everybody's talking about. Stupid 12-year-old and 15-year-old girls on there are like praising Jeffrey Dahmer. We're gonna get into that a little bit. So it's a show on Netflix about Jeffrey Dahmer, who's a real-life serial killer. He basically just killed gay people, lured them back home, chopped their heads off, ate them. He done it everything in the book. He used to like drill holes in their head and pour acid. Anything you can think of, he done it. Now this show is sick, but I, at first I didn't think it was based on a true story. Like I saw Boosie going off like, this is some sick shit. This is some sick shit. So I was like, you know what? Let me check this out because I love sick shit. I love slashers. I'm thinking that's what it was. So I went to go check it out. I'm like, yo, this is really good. I actually like this. And then I realized, I was like, oh, snap, this is based on a true story. So I can't praise it the way I want to. But if you remove the, like, real life aspect, if it wasn't based on a true story, bro, Evan Peters needs an Oscar, an Emmy. That lady next door to him, who whoever plays her, whoever the actress is, bro, she needs an Emmy Award immediately. She need more push in Hollywood. She is talented. The directors, the producers, the soundtrack. Everything about the show is golden. But like I said, I can't praise it the way I want to because it's based on a true story. Prayers to the victims and their families. I know it's hard for them. Imagine being a victim of a serial killer and they make a movie about it. And this wasn't the only one. Like, they've been making movies about it. So that just re-traumatized you every time. But I want to talk about people on TikTok. People on TikTok are sick. I see girls on there praising Jeffrey Dahmer. When they killed Jeffrey, I was... I was like literally teary eyed. Like I got teary eyed. You weird. Jeffrey Dahmer, like he was hot. I like him. I wish he lured women back so I can wipe him up. And it's like, bro, some of y'all, y'all need counseling. The females who are obsessing over Jeffrey Dahmer, they literally have no father figures. They just lost in life. They're the same people that go on Snapchat and be like, I'm going MIA. Don't text my phone. Don't call me. Don't ask what happened. I don't fuck with nobody. Your close homies be the ones that snake you. Like, bro, shut up. Like, nobody cares about you, bro. Stop trying to get likes. They post comments like this so they can get likes. They post stuff like this because they don't get attention. So they just want attention because they know the post is going to blow up because how stupid it sounds. These females want the criminal, the bad guy, and all that stuff until something actually happened. Then they're on the internet crying, calling the cops. But I felt bad a little bit. I ain't going to lie. I was like, man, I feel bad. But at the same time, I was like, man, no, man, he's... Forget him, throw the key away, barricade, throw him in a brick room and just concrete up, concrete the wall up and just leave him in there and just let him eat himself away. And when they knock the prison down, they're gonna be like, yo, why is there skeletons in the wall? But obviously the system is too soft. They actually give these people food. People like this actually get food. I already know people are gonna dress up as someone for Halloween. That's usually what happens when it's around October when something is trending. I mean, I got my glasses right here. They ain't the Jeffrey Dahmer's, but Yo, we gonna throw these on just for the video. And the females, just say that you got a crush on Evan Peters. Just say you got a crush on him, not the actual Jeffrey Dahmer. Just because Evan Peters look good does not mean you gotta feel bad for Jeffrey Dahmer. And it's not just real life, it's not just Evan Peters. People actually got a crush on the real life Jeffrey Dahmer. Like he was getting letters in the mail of people saying, yo, you're my hero. And those people are weird. Jeffrey Dahmer was a sick dude, bro. That, like, it's just crazy these things actually happen. You think these things only happen in movies. But it's sad because someone out there right now, as we're talking, is locked in a basement getting ready to get tortured. And it's like, man, stuff like this really happened. I feel bad for the victims, but at the same time, bro, you thinking what you thinking with your head down there and not up here. If you walk into a dude's apartment and it smells, it stinks in there, first of all, why would you even drink anything? I can't even... I, would, I can't even open my mouth when something stinks. I'm like, yo, I don't wanna talk. Why do people talk when stuff stinks? You see a red stain on a bed, and when you try to leave, he's like, no, don't leave me. Why, you gonna leave right now? Like, bro, of course I'm gonna leave. Don't try to block the door and punch you around your face. They're thinking with their head down there and not up here, and I understand he drugged them up. But at the same time, bro, why do you drink something when something stinks? You gotta read the signs. I understand when you're horny, the environment around you is just blind. You're blind to the environment around you when you're horny. But you gotta learn how to control that, bro. As soon as I walked in the room, I wouldn't even want to touch that man. Like, bro, you stinking here. But stuff like this need to be made. Like, 
it need to raise awareness. My mom used to show me videos of people getting kidnapped, and it's like, man, it just made me more aware. Like, I would never go into somebody's apartment on a one-night stand. I understand that one-night stands hook up culture, but at the same time, just be aware. I'm not finna go to a female's house on the first night. Like, she might she might lure you, she might bring you into her house and you think you finna just hit and leave. And next you know a dude walks out and be like, thank you babe for bringing somebody. And next you know they start torturing you. I would never do a one night stand and go in somebody's house. No, either come to my house, I don't even want you in my house, you might steal something. But at the same time, I'd rather you come to my house than go over to your house. Like, things like this need to be made, not based off of true events, but like stuff like this, need to start trending so people could be more aware. I bet you nobody's finna go in anybody's house that stinks anymore. I'm not. So yeah, tell me what you guys think about the show. Like I said, the show is actually good if you remove the true story behind it. It's actually really good. Go check it out. The way people are saying it's sick, it's disgusting, it's the worst thing I've seen. But people over exaggerating. They didn't even show anything in the show besides some little homo scenes and they're like, bro, like, come on, man. Like, skip that part. <laughs> I'm not homophobic, by the way, bro. I hate when people get mad, like, bro, you can't watch that stuff. Like, of course I can't. I'm not finna just watch that. My stuff might get hard on the egg, no. So yeah, I catch you guys in the next video. Stay positive, love yourself, take care of yourself. Peace. Oh, oh, yeah.